So after Oregon became a U.S. territory in 1848, it gave people reason to come to Oregon, to travel the Oregon Trail and immigrate from the East Coast or the Midwest 2,000 miles to Oregon City and Oregon. And here at the end of the Oregon Trail, people knew they were at the end if they ever saw Mount Hood. This is Mount Hood. And when people got to Mount Hood, they had two options. They could either raft down the Columbia River or they could travel around Mount Hood along the Barlow Road. And here is a sketch of the Barlow Road, which begins at present day the Dalles, goes around, here's Mount Hood right here, to Oregon City at the very end. And along that road, they would have to travel down Laurel Hill, which is right here. What they would have to do is that hill was so steep, they would actually have to tie their wagons by rope to some tree branches to lower their wagons down the hill. And this is one of the tree branches they would have to tie their wagons to. And if you look closely, you can see actual rope burns into the wood that was made by the rope when the immigrants had to lower their wagons down Laurel Hill. And when they got to Oregon City, this is what they would see. This is a picture of a painting of Oregon City as it looked like in the late 1840s. And if you get uh, close up, this building right here is the First Methodist Church. And this house right here is actually the McLaughlin House before they had to be relocated. So that was their original locations down near Willamette Falls. We also have this document, a Senate bill from the Oregon legislator, legislature are officially declaring Oregon City to be the end of the Oregon Trail. So it is by law that Oregon City is the end of the Oregon Trail. No other city can claim that. So that's a little bit about the Oregon Trail here at the mm -hmm. Museum of the Oregon Territory.